Hey guys, we'd like to thank our sponsors for supporting this show. If you'd like more info or just want to use our Tiger Belly code, you can go to helixsleep.com slash belly and betterhelp.com slash belly and getroman.com slash belly and sakara, S-A-K-A-R-A dot com slash belly. Also, if you are watching on YouTube, there's a QR code there. Why don't you scan that? Get your free little uh, Tiger Belly collectible or hit the link down below in the description. Um, you're going to love this episode. Enjoy. I disagree with you, okay? Because I think that I think that you're a guy who actually, believe it or not, is a leader, even though you don't believe it. I'm I, a follower for no, sure. No, you're dude. not a follower. I've you're always a follower. Been to, how? You're what, a leader. What, why? Because you're because you lead. I don't lead. Because <laughs> you, lead. I lead by example by other people. You're a lead. You were in the TV show Lost. You're a leader. <laughs> and you and okay? That's racism. Yes, I was, but. I played po- through both parts, the man and the woman. <laughs> That's what it is. We're not starting. We're just talking because he's like ranting and raving. And I'm ranting and raving. He's, <laughs> uh, he's no, we haven't started. Come on in. Come in. Come well, you're, on over. You're the co-host. You walk in whenever you want to. This is your f- podcast too. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Fuck. Kalila. Come in and out like that. Kalila. Kalila. He was telling me I was a leader. I think Bobby is a leader. I think no matter what he says about himself, herself, they self, that he is a natural born leader. And uh, all right, you ready for this? The Daniel Day Kim joke, whatever I just made, that was a joke. Fine. I played because I thought you were that guy. I played both of them. Right, but I. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you ready for this? You ready yeah. for this? What? I, for the very first time in my life, whenever it was, I don't remember the exact date. Let's say ten years ago, went with my girlfriend at the time and booked a hotel off Hotels.com or Hotel Tonight because I saw you in a commercial for it. Wow. Booking.com. Booking.com. Yeah. Yeah. Booking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that doesn't make me a leader. Of course it does. No, I just booked a commercial for the day. Easy work. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say my nummy. How do you know that? Don't, I didn't know that. I didn't get uh, that. $500. <laughs> I got $500 for that. $500. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> but like if I was in a, like a Native American tribe with you. Got it. You know what I mean? We would be um, like uh, Al- Al- Algonquin. Algonquin. You and I would be Algonquin. Right. I would be picking berries and uh-huh. you would be hunting meat. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that doesn't that doesn't make me a fucking leader. No, I don't see but I'm making moccasins. No, but the thing is, is I have a look. See, here's 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 why I'd rather always be you. You have a look. Don't th- you have a look that says I'd get killed, I'd I'd get killed in battle. I'm not a man. I'll get thrown off a cliff. They'll <laughs> sacrifice me. I'm like a little, I'm a little Asian panda boy. Things like that. You yeah, have yeah. that look where people are like, all right, I already don't believe in him. I have a look, tall, German, broad shoulders, fix things, women. Fu- None of that <laughs> yeah. is true. None of that is true. Yeah. Tall, yes, but not really that tall. Shirt off, body melts. Yeah. Tits going this way. Women, not really good in bed with them. Don't know how to fix anything. Don't know how to cook anything. Don't really know how to lead. Just appear like I do. So I'd rather. I Look like a hunt- panda. Yes. Right. So me, I'm panda, but not I'm human. Yes. Right. So I, we have the yes. same kind of things, right? Yes. Are you saying the expectations for you are high? So you feel the yes. pressure of that? Yes. Be, and, and I'm I'm a letdown. What I am is a letdown. Wait, do your nipples really go this way? They do. They go. Mine too. Oh, look oh. at that. Gwen. I just I'm gonna uh, can I, look at us. And you look like a Native American. You <laughs> you look like you look like a, a, a Pocahontas. If Pocahontas had OnlyFans, that's you. Mm. All right, but so my expectations are low, right? <laughs> yes. So if I just do anything, in, just r- remotely, you know what I mean? It's out of the box. They're like, "Oh, yeah, what a surprise!" But I can't even do that. But my- like, if I fucking get a little minnow in the river, let's say we were on a tribe, yeah. right? I wouldn't even be able to fucking get the minnow. I don't even know what a minnow Minnows is. They're not good eats. That's what I'm saying. Are and I'd good? come back with it like this little thing going. I got the meal for the whole tribe. And they would fucking blow a bow and arrow me, bro. Yeah, but I feel like you wouldn't get killed by a bow and arrow. You would be a guy. You'd survive. <laughs> how, would I, how would I die? In, in a Honestly, yeah. you'd survive every type of battle. You'd survive. You'd survive it all. You'd be the guy. You'd be the guy that like you died of you died of like a, a slight cold that turned into a fever. That's you go, right. go on a two, three week illness. 
No, but I would be like 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 last of the Mohicans, yes. but in reverse. Right. They would adopt me. And check this out. When I was in high school, I told you this, right? When I, when I was in middle school, I mean, I was at a party and this white dude goes suck my dick and I sucked his dick, right? Just, mm-hmm. I didn't even question it mm-hmm. because I just wanted to be a part of the cool group, right? Yeah. And so if I was a tribe, right, <laughs> at the white man, right, I would be there like... Like I would Your do mole? anything I could to suck. I would just do whatever it took to suck white to dick. survive. He's a survivor, yeah. right? So yeah. I'm willing to do anything to survive. Betray your own people, basically. Probably betray my own people. Yeah. yeah. Well, but but that's what people do. So so I was <laughs> in Boston, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, I was on a tour. I love history. And Paul Revere. You know, we've all heard of Tell Paul me, Revere. Never heard of him. What is two he? of two of by land? Stand up? Huh? Did no. What is Paul? Who's Paul Revere? No. Okay. So Paul Revere, Colonial America. I know who he is. He okay. did. He rode the horsey. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah. He rode the horse. He two if by land, one if by sea. If the British were coming by 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 land, it was healed up. Two lanterns by sea, one lantern, whole thing. Well, anyway, what a lot of people don't know about that story is at some point in the night, he gets captured by the British soldiers. The British army captures him. Okay? Paul Revere. But, he, but he's still got more work to do. And it's lost in history. How did he because 30 to 45 minutes later? He is released by the British for some reason, unbeknownst to the British, unbeknownst to the colonies. It just is another thing in history. How do you think he did it? He got down on his knees. He sucked their yeah. dicks. And he did it for freedom. So I would say, sir, <laughs> you are a patriot. And yeah. you love this country. And I respect you for loving this country because most times the country doesn't love you back. Oh, wow. Well, you're saying that this And that's not right. You, oh, you're saying that the country doesn't that's love that's Asians that. back. If I was president of the United States... I would make a law that said we have to love Asians even though they're tough people to trust. <laughs> We're sneaky. <laughs> sneaky. Yeah. Pearl Harbor, sneak saying. attack, uncalled for. Oh, can I just say, uh, let me argue with Pearl Harbor. I don't know if Let's we argue argue, Pearl Harbor. Have I argued with Pearl Harbor yet? Always argue, um, you've always gone again with the white side of things. Yeah. But this time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Japanese side. You are. Harbor, Let's go. Okay? okay, okay. All right, so do you think it should have gone this way? Okay. Em- I'm Emperor Hirohito. Yeah. He's calling Roosevelt, right? That was a president, right? Or yeah. Eisenhower. It was- In World War II? During Pearl Harbor. During Pearl Harbor? No, the, uh, the, the president would have been um, um, Truman. Harry oh, Truman. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It would have been FDR. FDR. Would, yeah, and that's what Truman. I said. I said Roosevelt. Because Truman... You so that's Truman. what I said first, right? Yeah. So I was right. Polio right? Roosevelt. But right. So Emperor Hero, do you think the night before Pearl Harbor should have called Truman and went, Hello? Hi, it's me. Hirohito. FYI, how's the family, by the way? Pretty cool? Oh, fine. Lots of rice to eat, right? <laughs> By the way, we are talking tomorrow morning. Or you think they should have done it the way they did it. Because in a war, sneak attack is the best strategy. Right. 100%. Right? I th- and, and they did get you. Yeah, they did. But here's the thing. <laughs> I think what happened was, I think what happened was, is after Pearl Harbor, when they tried to knock out the entire United States Navy, and they didn't because all our aircraft carriers in the middle of the sea, I think they went back to their little Japanese huts. <laughs> And they oh, were there were like, some buildings. I think there were there, there were some buildings. I think that they were probably like Emperor Hito. They didn't. They didn't. Emperor Hito. And they went. They did Julia Roberts' Pretty Woman voice. They said, "Big mistake. Huge." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what happened. Because then, oh, you think they regretted? You think they regretted that des- that decision right away? Because what happened was, is that happened? Then that pissed the United States off. And then that, what, unfortunately, with the United States, when they get mad at, at countries like that, you know. They put That's it a, I don't even view it that way. I don't view they pissed off the United States. I believe they pissed off white people. Here's the because when white people get pissed off, you guys take it to the next level. We do. Mm-hmm. Well, do you not? Yeah, you guys yeah. take it to the next. Like yeah. serial killing, you can't just kill. You got to eat them too. Whatever it yeah. is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen. I'd argue that's keto. That's what I'd argue. <laughs> <laughs> no carbs. <laughs> that's keto. Yeah. I, here's the thing. You ready for this? Yeah. You ready for this? What I'm about to say, and I know my grandfather would be rolling over in his uh, urn. Well, he's, yeah. he's been cremated, so I, he'd be just. I <laughs> think the Japanese had to attack Pearl Harbor. Why? I'm not even mad at the Asians for doing that. I think they had no choice because what happened was is by the way, let's just talk. You're Korean anyway, right? I'm like, specifically. Korean, I think it's yeah. totally 10%, okay. Ten percent Japanese. That's what, that, that's what 23 Me says, but I don't know if I agree with even that. Though I'm all about stopping, <laughs> even though I'm all about stopping the Asian hate, I think we can, I think we can shit on 1930s Japanese mm-hmm. people. I think we can yeah. shit on them sure. all day. Rape of Nanking, killing babe, yeah. Chinese babies with bayonets, no good. Yeah. The, those, those are no good. Yeah. The, the, the Americans um, uh, treated the Japanese <laughs> like second-class citizens yeah. in World War I treaty. Japan, they didn't give them nothing. We said, no. 
more, you know, just go, bring me more wine. Get out of here, little Japanese boys and girls. That's what the Americans were. We said, no, yeah. get out of here. Yeah. Um, we said, put some shoes and socks on when you come into this meeting. Stop sitting on the fucking floor. That's what they said <laughs> to the country of Japan in World War One. and Treaty yeah, yeah. of... Besides, it's messed up. Right. No, but it's messed up. Yeah, I know. But then, so don't smile when you say it, though. So okay, because <laughs> when you smile when you say it, it just has a different context. It's a smirk. It's a smirk. Yeah, yeah it's a got, smirk. Yeah. So they got angry. They said, you know, were you showing up to these meetings? You're in a fucking bathrobe with a sword. What are you doing? Yeah. Wearing suits here. So they got. So Probably they, never happened, but go ahead. They got mad. So, so they got mad at. The they are just walking around with their samurai swords. And I get that. <laughs> For twenty years, they sh- these guys showed up to the fucking big meeting with all the world leaders on a bicycle. You can't do that. So. <laughs> So, 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 <laughs> so, I love it. Uh, yeah, I love it. So that, so then, twenty five years of between World War One and World War Two, yeah, Japan yeah. getting angry, angry, angry. They start taking over more of Asia. They're taking over China. They want to take Vietnam. They want to take all these countries, and they're winning. They're doing well. So, who's giving them the oil to supply the Japanese war machine? The United States. We're giving them the oil, but then. After Japan starts to take over a little bit too much, they got too close. They got too close to the Philippines, and the United States wants the Philippines. We want Thailand. That's where our lady boys are. We like that. <laughs> we need that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're not going to give that up. The presidents are not going to give. Uh, Philippines was Epstein's Island before Epstein's Island. So we were fucking all what's, uh, what's Epstein's Island? Epstein. Well, we have seven thousand islands. Oh, Jeffrey so Epstein had an Epstein island. island yeah, I get it. Very I get it. I get it now. We had our little beautiful fun. island. No, the big. That's the truth. The I big, don't like what went on there, but it's a beautiful island. Beautiful island and <laughs> yeah. beautiful lady boys there and beautiful kids that they would have sex with. I don't even thing. know about that, but the island, the topography. No, no I'm just, this is history. This is the 1940s. Okay. So then what happened was we got too close to the Philippines. So the United States says, FDR says, no more oil for Japan. Yeah. Don't give. And then what happens? Now the war. Now we're stuck. Now the Japanese war machine stuck in China. It's like, what the fuck? What are we going to do? Well, now, unfortunately, we have to attack the United States. And they had they made a plan to say, we will attack Pearl Harbor. Their, their big aircraft carriers, the United States big aircraft carriers, will be out in the middle of the ocean. But the Japanese interpreter, unfortunately, he was dyslexic. This is true. And Are you sure? Flip the dates. They were no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, are you sure? No, it's scheduling error. A scheduling, scheduling error. error. Wait, wait, that's true. No, that's true. The, the interpreter was dyslexic. The interpreter was dyslexic, so he thought December seventh, nineteen forty one, meant all the things, all the aircraft carriers would be in the water, but it was really. Um, like it was real. It was really like July twelfth. It was twelve seven seven twelve. I, 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 okay. He fucked up. I never so, knew that. Yep. Thank you so for coming. He got beheaded. That guy got beheaded when he got back to Japan. Oh <laughs> no, no, you don't understand how bad they fucked. Japan knew immediately that they fucked up because now you just woke up the sleeping giant. We were neutral. We were yeah. not going to fight in the war. Right. And then you know things got hairy from there. But the Japanese did put up a good fight. But then we had to nuke them. But that wasn't really, it was a whole thing. That, that was Harry Truman, though. I will say, polio FDR would not have nuked Japan, but then he died because he has fucking polio. Right. And then we put Harry S. Truman in there, and that guy just wanted to prove a point. Do you think that was, uh, you think the nuclear bomb was overboard, or you think that was a... Uh... I think, I think, I think it was our way to show, just like how China threw COVID at everyone, I think we had to show, I think we had to show... What happened was, the truth of the nuke is this. Basically, it's like if I was fucking in a porn, right? I was in a Japanese porn. And I'm going, yes. hoto, 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 right? And yeah. then yeah. Shaquille O'Neal came in with his big dick. Yes. Right? That's what I feel like. Oh. Yeah, the mm. nuclear component. It's the same thing. Marketing, Thank you. Marketing has been the United States key. Why we are, uh, we're number one for a while is because yeah. we're good marketers. From the Revolutionary War, it was all Declaration of Independence. This is all a lie. It was marketing. We were just marketing to the people, buy our lies, buy our lies. It's all lies. So- Nuclear bomb, we told the people, oh, we have to invade mainland Japan, go to Tokyo. You know, these Japanese guys, they're fighting in holes, they're running around, they're like, they're jumping off, they, they'll kill all of us. They'll kill another million of your sons. Do you want that? The American people say, we don't want that. Okay, here's the other option. We drop the nukes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, two random places. They say, okay, we want that because then our soldiers won't die. But the truth is, Japan was going to surrender. They were going to surrender. Russia, here's the thing. Russia came into the war, and that's what scared the Japanese. The only thing that scares Japanese people are Russians and dogs. You guys don't like dogs, right? I love dogs. I thought you got scared of dogs. I, have, I have four dogs upstairs. <laughs> no. So Russians... No, <laughs> what do you mean? No, you no. no you I not. do. Russians <laughs> were... That's the Japanese... That was the government of Japan's Godzilla. Godzilla. Russia. I so, know what Godzilla is without the accent. So Russia was coming in. <laughs> So Russia was coming in from one way, and they said, Japan was like, no, 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 we don't want to fight the fucking Russians. Those guys are fucking crazier than us. They're like Japanese people, but bigger and whiter. So they're like, fuck those guys. So the United States was saying, ah, here's, here's a nice timing 
for the United States to come in and say, well, we have this thing. We took our little Jew boy, Albert Einstein, and, and, we, made, and, he, and he made, we took it from Germany. We took little baby Einstein from Germany, yeah. and we said, make a nuke. Make a nuke, or we'll oh, tell dudes. everyone you were fucking little boys on Epstein's Island, and that you're, mm. a, that's what we're going to do. Just like we have that shit now. We said, listen, little Einstein, you little fucker, you make the nuke for us. And then Einstein and Robert Oppenheimer, they make the nuke. Yeah, yeah. Now we got a nice fucking weapon. And so we say, we got to drop it. Who's the best place to drop it on? Japanese. Right. Drop it on them. So we drop two. First one, unnecessary. Second one, I can't explain to you how unnecessary it was. Beyond unnecessary. But what did it do? Showed Russia, do not fuck, fuck with, with us. us. Don't fuck with us. So that's, that's really happened. why we did it. So it's fucked up. And I still believe to this day that someday, Japan, there's no way Japan just forgot about that. Mm -hmm. No, but it's funny because I did see a documentary. I think it was called... Um, it's on HBO. It's about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning of the fucking documentary, they had just modern day Japan and people walking up to like young, the youth and going, do you know what happened? What was the date during Nagasaki, Hiroshima? It was 1945. 1940. Yeah. Do you know, remember what happened this date, 1945? And they were like, I don't know. Yeah. They didn't know. No, I know. I, I think they've com completely forgotten or whatever. Or well, they don't know their history. It's all, it's all history, you know, as I say, it's written by the winners. But you got to read it from the losers. You got to read books. I like to watch documentaries from what's the Nazis' point of view? What's the Japanese' point of view? What's the British' point of view? <laughs> then you start to come. Then the story starts to meet in the middle. I love the Nazis' point of view. The Nazis' point of view. What is the Nazis' point of view? The, what what is, is the I point love the Nazis' point of view. Well, the Nazis' point of view, <laughs> my dear, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that, number one, fun fact, most Germans, like overwhelming majority, 80% plus, some say, did not know about the Holocaust. The Nazi army did not want anything to do with the Holocaust. They did not want to put Jewish people in ovens. That was a small faction of Germans. Horrible, yes. Can't deny it. Bad Holocaust. But so we got Republicans and then we have insurrectionists, which is like a smaller group. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, right, exactly. So, you know, like the SS would have been the ones, that's the small group of people. They hated Jews. They were truly racist. Yeah. So they hated Jews, wanted to put them in ovens, blah, 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 blah. Did they really, though? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, do they really hate them, or are they just being influenced by one guy? Yeah, like anything else. Well, there's influence. Well, I think that there was, first of all, the Jews are very good, very, you know, cunning, r ran a lot of the businesses in Germany. They, yeah. were, they were doing better than most Germans. They just figured it out quicker. But you got to put, in in, put yourself in the little German <laughs> shoes. Put yourself in the little German shoes of young Hassenpfeffer, young, young, Hans, young Hans Heidenberger, in Germany in the 1920s, they got destroyed in World War I. They had no country. They're completely destroyed. Also, that treaty that I was telling you about where we told the Japanese, because we won World War I, United States, where we told the Japanese, even though Japanese was on our side, we said, Japan, get out of here. We gave Germany, not only did we give Germany nothing, we gave Germany nothing. We also said, you owe us, you ready for this? One billion dollars in 1919 money. So what is Germany supposed to do? Hate the Jews. That's what they have to do. They have to now rally around a group, say, I hate this group for X, Y, and Z, make the military, get, 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 get themselves out of debt through war. That's the only way. Yeah. And then they start to rebuild their country. And like, we're going to take over everyone. When everyone else in the 1930s, after they won World War I, was just sitting there drinking the lemonade. It's a Japanese, you know, ja uh, China having fun with the bayonets, <laughs> Japanese <laughs> inventing, you know, Harirang and whatever, hibachi stuff, the Americans. <laughs> Making hot dogs, getting fat, Canadians yeah, yeah. blowing moose, you yeah. know, Mexicans running the cartels, wherever we're all having fun. What are the Nazis doing? Head down, building machines, Luftwaffe, building the Air Force, saying we're going to fucking kill everybody now because you fucked us. And that's what they tried to. They, you know they were this close. Don't. That's how big their dick, dicks were? That. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. They like do think did. Hitler was Hitler because he had micro penis, but that's a rumor. Do we really? I, you know what? That checks out. Germany. But they said that's the reason why they did it. That's the reason why they said we have to try to take over everyone because we need we have no money. We're uh, the regular German citizen sitting there in 1925 had no money. They had like three dollars. They would make like three to five dollars a year with inflation. So what are they going to do? They have Is to. Is there fight. any moments in your life where you can just be quiet? No. No, I'm just saying. I, I, here's what, <laughs> what I realized about you, Chris. <laughs> Holy shit! You know, who you, you, know, you know, it's it's like you have to keep talking. <laughs> Helix, 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 Helix for your back and sleeping pleasures. You guys, Helix is the only mattress I sleep on. Are you nervous about buying a mattress online? Please don't be. Helix Sleep has over... 
12,000 five-star wow. reviews for a reason. Their two-minute sleep quiz matches you with the mattress that's the perfect fit. Right, babe? So I run really hot, and I'm also a side sleeper. So when I took the quiz, I got uh -huh. matched with a, a midnight media mattress. And I swear to you guys, my sleep is so deep every night. But they, 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 that's not all they have is the – I love the midnight medium. <laughs> but they also have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Mattresses is great for spinal alignment like me. And to prevent morning aches and pains, and even a Helix Plus mattresses for plus size sleepers like our friend that we know. Just go to helixsleep.com slash belly and try it out for 100 nights risk free. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 and by GQ and Wired Magazine. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. Wow. Helix, 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 end it. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash belly. That's up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash belly. Sakara. Ah. You guys, I'll be honest with you, all right? When I eat Sakara, the things that they have, it really feels like I'm eating healthy and delicious stuff. I'm telling you right now. Sometimes you go, you know what? You're at a restaurant and you're going... You know, it says it's, you know, fresh and healthy, but it doesn't taste it or I don't feel it going through my body, mm -hmm. right? But Saqqara is like that, all right? With Saqqara, you get nutrient-dense meals, yeah. snacks, and supplements that nourish your body without ever sacrificing taste or quality. And quality is the most important thing, guys. Wow. Saqqara is a wellness company anchored in food as medicine on a mission to nourish your body through the power of plants. Their nutritionally designed chef-crafted breakfasts is that how you say it? Breakfasts? Breakfast. Breakfasts, lunches, In a plural dinners. way. <laughs> um, breakfasts, lunches, and dinners are made with powerful plant-rich ingredients, helping boost your energy, support your digestion, curb your sugar cravings, and get your skin glowing. We love I love glowing, glowing skin. skin. And honestly, guys, go Google them, all right? It gets delivered right to your door, you look at the, the look, at, look at the photos of their foods, and you know it's good. They the Saqqara shop is stocked with functional, plant-rich products <laughs> and wellness essentials to help you create a body you feel strong and vibrant in, like their best-selling metabolism super powder, wow. plant protein bars. I love their pro protein bars. I love their protein bars. I love their teas. Oh. Ooh, and their the newest functional good. snack, Super, super seed, seed and nut blends. blends. Go ahead. Wow. And right now, Sakara is offering our listeners 20% off their first order when they go to sakara.com slash belly or enter code belly at checkout. That's Sakara, S A K A R A dot com slash belly to get 20% off your first order. Sakara.com slash belly. Talking. <laughs> You're like Howie Mandel in that way. Howie, Howie Mandel has to constantly I'm be doing signing a deal with him. I love him. Yeah. One of the greatest guys. But, um, He's constantly moving. She, she, like, if you go to a studio, he's like, you got to see this. And look at this, what That's we're doing. What he did for us. Like, yeah. that whole hologram thing that he's doing. Look at this hologram. You stand there. And, you, and it's just, you can't just, just, you know, we haven't even started the podcast. We haven't showed the show yet. We haven't introduced the show or anything. And you're, you're giving us a fucking history lesson, man. I like it. I, I like it, too. I learned I a lot. I love it. I, I learned a lot. It. I learned my, so much. My stepdad is uh, his, was my high school history teacher. Nice. So I like... You think you ever hooked up with any of the students? My mom. She was a high school student <laughs> when they... <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Everything? No, no, every, <laughs> no, let me start the fucking podcast. Uh, you, Can we start it? You fucked up his history flow. No, I loved it. It was okay. great. Yeah, but... But, it, but there was a time, though, I was like, I love this, but... Shut up. No, I was just like, I just kind of want to move on. Oh, I That's what happens with history, usually. You want to move on, but the reason <laughs> I love it is because it's cyclical. You're seeing what all those stuff happened I know, now. it's uh -huh. so crazy. This Abe, Japanese prime minister being shot, looks mm -hmm. very, feels very similar to how World War I started. Wow. Minister, Franz got shot, and then you're, now all these countries are already starting to get, everyone's starting to get fucking nervous now. Before we move on, I don't want to jump off the history wagon just yet. What are your thoughts? Are you, like, in the know in regards to the new Philippine president, um, Bong Bong Marcos? Oh, His yeah. name is Bong Bong Marcos? Yeah. Bong, Bong, yeah. Uh, no, I don't, I actually don't know anything about him. Other you than do he probably has small hands. Ooh, okay, okay. How do you spell bong bong? Bong bong. B o g b o n g b o n g. Uh huh. Bong bong. All one bong word. bong. All one word. Bong bong. Is bong fine? I mean, can you call him bong, or will you have nope. to go bong bong, or you'll it's get bong -bong. mad? Filipinos. What's are up, bong? Nope. bong bong? Bong bong. Bong bong. Bong bong. My bad. You have to double it up all the time in the Philippines. Is he in the conservative, Philippines. liberal? What's his politics? He's a, he's a Marcos. He's uh, Imelda Marcos's son. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, is it? 
Is that, that a woman yeah, on the left? Both, <laughs> are they both CGI bong bongs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bong bongs, two people. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bong and bong. Wait, what the fuck is... What am I looking at? Is the leader of Philippines trans? Who is that? Yeah. That's bong bong. That's a man. Is that a woman on the left? <laughs> You don't know. What, yeah, I don't know what is going on here. It's a this, coin flip. To me, they're all That's women. It. That's it right here. That's bong bong. So then who's the person on the left? I believe is one. That is, no, I think that's uh, Sarah Duterte, which is the daughter of... Um, and she's a guy? She's a VP. VP, yeah. Yeah, when they just all breed with each other, they just all look the same, I think. Maybe yeah. That's what's going on. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. If he looks, the Filipino president looks like he could be uh, okay, but I guess there's a darkness behind him, right? Yeah, because he's, yeah. But who's worse, Bong Bong or Duterte? We don't know yet. We're about to find out. Because Duterte was a bad guy, right? Duarte, yeah, they used to kill people. Duterte is the one who used to kill citizens in the street, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like shoot them in the, when they were swimming in the ocean. But what were they yeah. doing? That's, that's the question. That's exactly, that's the question, and that's the question, question that we all have to ask. ask. Yeah, but yeah, why? Yeah. She's swimming. Gay? They're swimming? I said gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Five. No, four. Three. Welcome to another episode of. Uh, <laughs> we're just starting now. It's like 25 minutes. We're just fucking oh, starting. Oh, is all of that unusable? No, no. we're going to. Oh, no, it's oh. a hit. That's all. Oh, okay. It's a hit. We're opening the way we're opening with that, <laughs> right? But now we're going to do the intro because I go. can't do it. I have, I, I, I have to do it. As, I have to do the intro. Okay. I don't know why I do. I just have to. It's like an itch. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, a, like a compulsion. It's a compulsion to do it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to dive into history with you. There's many things I have to ask. We yeah, can I mean, ask them all. I will ask them all. Um, but uh, why? I mean, how do you know? Did you went to history s- class? I love history. <laughs> I went history, to history, history school. I was a history minor in college. I love history. I'm fascinated with it. You know, I think I like history. Yeah. I've been trying to think about this. I think about this a lot. I, th- I really get deep into thought when I'm on the toilet bowl or masturbating. That's when I and right. when I was masturbating the other night. I was like, why do I like history so much? And I think it's because it's the only place. That I love that never changes. Mm. It's, it's a it's a constant. It can't change. I could change my story about how I interpret the facts, but the facts don't change. It is it is there. It is always going to be the same, and it calms my anxiety to just know that the way I remember it is I can check up on that, and it's always going to be that way because that's that's what happened. It's history. Yeah, I you like also, that. But but here's why I don't like history too. Is it seems as if we never learn from our history. It, it keeps repeating itself. Right. I mean, if you watch Chernobyl, the TV show, right. and then you watch the documentary on Three Mile Island, right? Right. It's just the same kind of vibe. It's just like I just, I just, I just even the stuff that's going on in our government and what's going on in our, what's going on with the, it just, it just reminds me of the past, and I feel like human beings don't evolve, we don't change, and human nature is greed, human nature is power, and um, I don't think that's ever going to change. I mean, Socrates said it two thousand years ago: "People will be people." Always. People and Depeche people Mode, said, people. Depeche Depeche Mode, Mode said that too. Depeche Mode said people that. People are people, people, so why should it? Yep. You Something like I, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but. Uh, um, what do you think about. David Gahan, what's up? Uh, Martin Gore. No. Martin Gore. But who's the lead? Is that Al's son? Yeah, David. Yeah. What? David Gahan is. Yeah. Um, but um, what do you think about when you masturbate, Bobby? Pussy. Not you. Your history. History gets I you. Very, 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 very <laughs> rarely think yeah, about yeah, having I, sex I, with a woman. I'm sorry. I'm so it's just minded. history. So history just. Not necessarily history. I would say when I masturbate, it's usually blank. It's just blank. Oh, it's a blank slate. Uh, yeah, I don't really oh, think about. You're I like an artist. Yes. I right, you're like about. Rembrandt. I would say, you ready for this? The network, the channel that I've mastered, the, the background noise that I've masturbated to the most in my life by far is ESPN. Mm. 100%. Who's voice? Whose voice? Huh? What show and whose voice? Um, Scott Van Pelt. No, not Scott Van Pelt. Well, old, oldie but goodie. R.I.P. Uh, Stuart Scott. I would okay, always. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that. His mm. voice soothing. R.I.P. Mm. Um, never really the female. So once in a while, I jerk off a little bit to females tennis. Something I jerk <gasps> off to the WNBA because it makes me think about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? In what way? <laughs> in what way? <laughs> no, I'm saying because the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in what way? Well, I will <laughs> say. <laughs> in what way? I. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, because my dad this is what he used to do. <laughs> if I would have a bad basketball game yeah. or a bad practice, he would make it a point to take me to either a, a WNBA New York Liberty game or a or a women's high school game and be like, "Look at look at these girls. They're fucking better than you. Mm-hmm. Look, they can do it." He would um, he would say, "You're low. These girl lo- that's a girl and she's better than you. How does that make you feel? Wow. You make me sit there with my dick in between my legs and sit on my nutsack." <laughs> oh wow! Jesus. <laughs> really, he was like that. He, no, he wasn't. He was. He would do that a couple of times. It's funny, but he was very adamant about you need to 
like you're not practicing hard enough. Yeah, he would hit me with a broom. When I, you know, we would have all types of um, drills, basketball drills that we do, shooting drills, dribbling drills, and he would always hit me with a broom. Oh. He'd throw some, you know, baseball. He was my baseball coach. If I was sitting there, like, you know, like just with like looking into fucking space at butterflies, or whatever, playing shortstop, he'd throw a ball at me as hard as he could. Then one time he hit me in the chest. Oh, <laughs> first time I got. Did you ever cry? Do you ever cry at home? Like, oh yeah, in your room alone. I remember one time I got hit by a pitch. I was maybe in fifth grade. I got hit by a pitch, and I fell collapsed at home plate, crying. <laughs> Hit by my dad walks out. My dad slowly walks out. I hear the slam of you know the, the you, you know you keep score. Fucking slam the book down because like look at my gay son crying at home plate. So then he's like get up, get the fuck up. And I'm really? like okay. So then really? we're walking slowly. He's like you're fucking embarrassing me. Get up. Oh man. Get up. It's just your so, back. So get there's, up. There's two ways to deal with that, right? Right. One is to get up, get up, right? Or would you, would you like the alternative, which is like, oh, are you okay? There's a middle. There is. Yeah. There's only two. There's. Well, what's the middle? Give me the middle response. Don't coddle and don't abuse. Like, Just say it. Of, say it. I'm, I'm okay, crying. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm crying. How old are you? Right. I'm his age. Five. I, How old are you? Sixth grade. Uh, sixth Eleven. Grade. Okay. Eleven, right? Yeah, I have the perfect So the ball response. hits me in the chest. I'm huh? now. Uh, but I know you're okay, right? I'm not. No, uh, you said you were on the ground. I was on the ground. I got He's hit by a I fell on the, the ground. ground. So but I'm on the ground. But I was being a little bitch. Okay, no, no, here. it doesn't matter. It hurts. I've had baseballs hit me in the chest as well. It does right. hurt. It does. It, it cracked your sternum maybe a and little And I'm sorry bit. that happened to you, my friend. So I'm crying. Yeah. So give me the middle way. Okay. <laughs> the baseball hit me in the chest. <laughs> You're okay, son. You're okay. I'm not. It hurts. I don't interfere because I'm not a helicopter parent and I don't get in the way. This of is what you're telling the kids. son? Yes. I'm like, you're okay, son. Get up. You'll be okay. And if he says he's not. And then I'll be and then if he comes back to the dugout, I'd be like, hey, you okay, buddy? Get back out there. I know you can do this. Mm. I'm not gonna coddle him and be like, oh my baby. But I'm like, get back out there. You got this. Not me, man. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? What do, you do? Ice cream. Immediately. Oh my immediately. god. Ice cream immediately. Yeah. Do you want, what flavor do if you I, want if from I the 31? Hit, if I didn't get a hit, my dad would buy an ice cream cone for me. Yeah. Like you buy like if I say I was at one over three, buy an ice cream cone. It's like, oh, you want it? Fucking chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> really? I swear to God, I'd throw it across yeah, the yeah, rifle. Yeah. It. One yeah. of the most humiliating things that ever happened to me was after a race I thought I had done good in. I was yeah. a swimmer. <laughs> um, I walked towards my mom and I thought for sure that she would be happy with my time. Yeah. Instead, in front of everybody, she I, I'm eight years old. Yeah. She grabs me by my gut yeah. like this yeah. and she rings it in front of everyone and I couldn't like like, withstand the pain just because she wasn't happy with I should have been better to See, her. My I was never my, good enough. Wow. And I just like, I remember collapsing to the ground, oh, being so humiliated. Fucking terrible. Yeah. Were you chubby really... as a youngster too? No, oh, I so barely had. Champion swimmer, dude. Was champion swimmer. There was no fat there. I was the oh best God. in my country and it still wasn't good enough. So she would just like abuse me in front of everybody. And no one ever interfered. And right. everyone just sort of just like let me right. stand there in pain with no interference <laughs> at all. You know what my dad used to do? What? When I was losing a wrestling match, I would be like on my back and I would look in the stands and I could just see him leave. <laughs> yeah. But he wouldn't say anything. Yeah. Right? He wouldn't go, bye, or nothing. He would just kind of look on the ground and just walk out. You think he waited for that moment um, to um, make eye contact with you to, um, to leave? Maybe, but what sucked about it is that he was my ride home. <laughs> right? So I would wait until everyone, you know, after everyone, then the coach would drive me home. Sure. Right? But that was, and I would just sit in the back and go, That's yeah, I fucked up. But but if he was like yelling at me while I was losing, like, Are you pussy, why are you pussy? You know what I mean? I think that'd be traumatic. Could you ever imagine your daughters, um, like, let's say same thing happens to them, they get hit by a softball? Yes. And yeah, what would you do if my daughter got hit, uh, hit by a softball? Yeah, like, get up, you dyke. <laughs> <laughs> are you playing the sport? <laughs> <laughs> you would? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. No. Now be real. Your daughter Honestly. gets hit. She's crying. Yeah, I can't because especially a little girl. I'd probably carry. I I would. I would be like, you don't have to play. I I go. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, would yeah. go too soft. Probably. I would not. I I. But I would have. Her mother would be the one who would be more like, get up. You know, be a woman. All that stuff. Where I would be like, it's okay, baby. I'm sorry. I push you too hard. Like I would. Mm. I think because my dad pushed me so hard athletically, I am now too soft on. My See, I feel I'm, I that's why I'm yeah. soft because my yeah. dad was so hard. Yeah. My mom was so hard right. that everything I do is soft. Right. right. Yeah. I think they fuck me up in that way. They fuck mm -hmm. you up. Yeah. 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 Well, I would uh, coddle. You know what I mean? Don't do your homework. Whatever you want. 
Like I remember, I want you know back in the day there was Sega and like mm-hmm. video games. Sega. Yeah, you, nothing. I got nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why now I have access to these things, so I buy it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. Is this? Yeah, because you just, you know, whatever. It shaped who you are as a person. You have to just be okay with who you are. You have to be friendly with your present. Yeah. Mm. You know, know, honestly, like, the makeup of my parents and the way I was um, raised brought me to this place moment right now. Yes. And the moment right now in my life is perfect. You feel perfect. It's it's the way it's supposed to be, and 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 I, I'm going to tell you this. I, you know, I never dreamed I would be here. Right. You know what I mean? And it was all these little survival skills I did as a kid, like being sarcastic and funny mm-hmm. and outlandish, and I would act out. And you know, my parents and everyone would thought, God, this kid's never going to have a future. But those things became assets almost. Yeah. So when I'm in front of a crowd, I'm there's no fear when it comes to certain things like that. I could just go out and just yeah. do it. You know thank I mean? God, and you have an example because you did all that and you capitalized. Like I like, you know, you and I came up, well, the first time I met you, Opie and Anthony, those Opie days of the comics was just fucking trashing each other. Oh, it's just, you don't, you don't like those times. I do. You miss those times. Oh my. Like now, now we got a guy who's going to, you know, they'll fight your car fire. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Just take the joke, dickhead. I, 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 I know, this I know. This is how you get better as, at comedy. I know. Here's the thing, okay? <laughs> I'll tell you why those days were great. Because there was no such thing as cancel culture. So you can make shit up and say crazy things and just go say whatever you wanted to say. Right. And then Opie would kind of go, keep going. Yeah. Like I would go, you know, even be- between breaks, yeah. you know what I mean? I would go to them and it's like, am I being too crazy? No, they keep going. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, say it. crazier things. Yeah. Right? So you would suck a bull dick. That's for the first time that I That was the first you. time I Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my 9-11. But the first time I... <laughs> I was, <laughs> but the first time I ever did it, though, was traumatic because you have to understand, yeah. I was from sketch comedy and stand-up yes, yes. and from the West Coast, and I was there, and it was um, Greg Giraldo, Patrice, Norton, mm-hmm. a bunch of them, right? And, and, and Open Anthony. Yeah. And as I walked in, they just tore me destroyed you to pieces where i had to walk out yeah i left no i i that it's one of wait, those wait, was that the bull dick here's this Chris, is the bull yeah, dick wow first with the bull dick. Oh, so there's a cute little lick you that's did. a good look all right Bobby's two of those four people are dead two of those people uh, are dead i have the I, no vic Ooh. henley and carl ruiz no yeah they're both dead how vic died in the beginning of covid from uh, covid and carl died of a heart attack like two years ago oh shit yeah in his sleep no, I don't know if Vic had COVID. I think he died in the beginning of COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah. But everything goes in threes, so I'm, one of these other guys are going to die. Oh, no. So which one is it going to be? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you bit I, it. I have the full fucking... In no, your... you you took that like a champ. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I I, I bit into the See, fucking I would dick. tell people, oh, I saw Bobby eat a bull dick, and I never put it in my mouth, but then there's a picture of me putting it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but I Like, you're... That. You're giving it pleasure. You're giving yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. You're, You're like smiling. licking the tip of the fucking dick. My <laughs> life, my, literally, I have zero recollection of me doing that. <laughs> I blocked it out. I you, blocked out me licking a, a fucking bull dick. Yeah, that was the first day we ever met. Yep. And uh, immediately, this and, and this I had never, this had never happened before. Opie goes, Opie goes, let's go have breakfast. Yeah. Which he had never done before. So I'm like, oh, I'm in the club. And Chris was there, and you were young. How long ago? How long ago was that? That must have been 2016. So, 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 so I was 32, 31. Oh, so that's not that far. Past. Five, six years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, five, six years ago. I yeah. remember this day. Oh, you do very clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I just had my daughter. Oh, yes, you baby. did. Yeah, you She's did. A baby. Yeah. How was Opie? Good. Opie's good. I texted him the other day. He's in the Hamptons. I love that guy. Let so his much. hair grow out real long. You should have Opie on the pod. Oh, when does he come here? He doesn't come here. That's the that's thing. the problem. That Opie, I would have had. Guys, him. ever do it in New York? No, man. We've never done it there. We've never done it there. You know what's interesting about me being here today? I was thinking about this on the way up. Is the last time, because you guys just publicly announced your breakup. Yeah. The last time I was here was when History Hyenas had just broken up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Wow. Right? Yeah. It's a breakup thing. Mm. And it's interesting because. <laughs> I, <laughs> what? And, and no, it's interesting yeah. because I just was like, oh, wow, like how like poetic. Now. Because remember when I came in? Yeah. Remember when I came in? Remember? <laughs> yeah. What 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 did you put on? Team Giannis. Giannis shirt. Team Giannis. Oh whoa! Oh, whoa! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the same. 
same shirt. <laughs> it's the same shirt. <laughs> Chris De Stefano. And Chris D <laughs> has won. The, the whites have beat the Asians once again, <laughs> just like World War II. <laughs> This is my favorite day <laughs> oh of any God. podcast I've ever done. Oh. That is so funny. Thank you for that. Because I did I not wear the Team Yana shirt? You I did. didn't, huh? No, you didn't. You, you did not. I didn't. Only Chris Bobby I did. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Only Bobby. Thank you for that. He's going to need a second <sighs> to recover. <laughs> Any thoughts on why uh, Team Kalila? Um, really, the only thought of, of truthfully of doing because I know you guys broke up. That's sad. I sucked. The only reason I did is because he put on the team Giannis. So I just thought it'd be funny to put on Team Kalila than Team because you know I just thought it'd be. Fun. But you would be Team Kalila. No, 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 no. Yeah, in real life, you'd no. be on my team, right? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, hundred percent. You guys ate no, gold together. Come yeah, on, yeah, that's like yeah. a like so. That's a brotherhood. No, that's what it is. Yeah. But this, see, like something like this, doing this, just shitting on, having fun. I this love is how it. comics heal. Where like some other podcast might be like, eh, that's offensive. I'm gonna sue you. Talking about it. I have no idea what you're talking about, We're but doing, I like it. We're doing comedy here. <laughs> You do comedy. This is the show. I know. I We're know. doing the show. Uh, well, I, coming you know, in hot today. I think we don't edit shit today. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's yeah, my I'll fault. deal with fuck. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Put that down. Keep, uh, keep it. Yeah. Keep it. You, you know should. what? But you know what? I t what I want to tell people though is because I've I've ta I've talked to a lot of like um, podcasts going. Well, I'm getting a lot of hate. Oh. And I'm God. getting a lot of this and that. And it's like <laughs> what they don't understand is is that. It's still money in your pocket. Sure. The worst thing that someone can say about you online, right, is them thinking about you. Yeah. And once they're thinking about you, in one way or another, it's money in your fucking pocket. Yeah. Mm. Thank God you'd rather from a troll online than than being in person with Patrice O'Neill or somebody like Thank God he's dead. <laughs> thank God, you know, thank God Jim Nor and Keith Robinson, those old school guys. You don't want them to fucking because they Nick DiPaolo. Yeah. Nick DiPaolo will hurt you with his words. <laughs> yeah, some yeah, troll, yeah, yeah. Some Twitter troll asshole who's done comedy once in his life. They're, what they're saying is bullshit. Nick will hurt you. Yeah, with, yeah. With great jokes. Colin Quinn, they will come out and they will get you to where you know you can't, the pain never goes away. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some Twitter idiots like just block them. I mean, they've said get... things to me where I've like <laughs> talked about it in therapy. Yes, you're like, 100%. oh, that was personal. Yes, you know what I mean, like yes. that's you know, I, 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 they talk about your acting, how bad oh, an yeah. actor you are. I mean, they don't give a fuck. Come and shit on you, it, and just to shit on you. Yeah, yeah. Immediately, these guys, you get but cornered by them. But it's beautiful. That's why I do comedy. Yeah, I. You know? do, but but you know, can I? I I'm going to say something controversial. I have more of an affinity and a love for I think East Coast. Okay. In terms of the because. Like with Norton and stuff, like one time when we were in Montreal, I think, yeah, he was like, let's go have coffee. And, I, you know, with his girlfriend and stuff, we had coffee and uh, and um, we hung out and I, I hang out with Andrew Schultz and I don't hang out with they don't invite me out. The L.A. comics. Right. Like Burke Kreischer had a Fourth of July party. When we rolled him. it. We did roll the tapes back for that, and it turns out you specifically said, Bert, do not invite me to your Fourth of July party. Just put me on your tour. But he didn't put me on his tour. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. I see, like, I see. Yeah, I, I keep calling my agent. They go, no, never call. <laughs> oh. Right? So that's, the, you know, once yeah. the deal, he broke the deal. Okay. Once that deal is over, you have to invite me to your 4th of July party. I, uh, yeah. I feel very much like an outsider in comedy, too. I think, I think even, you know, you might talk to Burt Kreischer. He might feel like an outsider. I think it's just part of our makeup. We always that's feel not like true, we're not That's not true, because that gay comic, Evan... Evan Williams. Williams, the, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the gay comic Evan, Evan, Will Evan K. Williams. He's yeah, gay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, you said he was gay, right? Emilio, <laughs> Emilio Savone, owner of New York Comedy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, off yeah. camera. Because I didn't think uh, it was, but you know what I mean. If, if that's what I, you say, but my point you, is, no, no, I, I didn't think he was gay either. But once it was rebuttaled twice, <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Maybe yeah, yeah. I know. And I mean, did you make a phone call? You made a phone call to call somebody and go, "Are you sure he's not gay?" But my point is, is that he's with George Takai right now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the other day I was hanging out with Evan Williams, yes, um, the gay comic from New York, and he um, cute guy though, very cute, and muscular. We were like a mini Chris Pratt if he was gay, yeah, like a mini, <laughs> mini, mini gay Chris Pratt, yeah, and uh, and we were having lunch, mm -hmm. and I didn't know he was a comic, mm -hmm. and he goes, oh by the way I'm a comic, mm -hmm. and I go, oh cool, he's like, but I moved here from New York, and I go, well who do you know? And he went to the first name was you. 
Stop. That's why I called you because That's why call me because he wanted to like show that he knew top guys. Oh, that's very right. Nice. That he would say nice things about him. Right. Right. They, he didn't Little say did Rich Voss. He didn't say you know any of those other guys, Mark Norman or anybody. He went to you first. That's why I called you. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, and thank you. So I don't think that you're an outsider in that way. Well, I appreciate him saying that and you saying that, but I still feel like though like all those guys have barbecues in new york and do things in new york too yeah or lists i'm never on any of them mm -hmm. yeah but is it because but i'm not either but it's because they just know that you're not going to show up that's true too i am flaky yeah i'm flaky too i, am I think flaky. Maybe i won't show up if we change our behavior maybe they'll we'll start you're right us. we are the one it it all all your happiness sadness it all comes from within i think i'm the one i'm dictating my own future i'm subconsciously saying i don't want to be in your list i don't want to be on your team so i do things to make it that way yeah. subconsciously that's what probably is you're right you, you're right but don't you think you see you, leader you're a leader <laughs> then you see you, wow. you, you, you can make people think differently and then radically change but your I think you fucking already know this but i didn't you have to pull it out of me that's yeah. what leaders do and i know this about you because it's like you and i you don't really we don't call each other no you're right and we only see each other in this space yeah. And I don't even think we'd ever do anything together, which is sad to me. But I have called you and texted you before. Yeah, but, but if it's something, if my life is blowing up. <laughs> it's, when I, mean, I found out. Headline. About, you'll call headlines. Right? Right. You know what I mean? Bobby's dying. You'll call. Right? Well, no. When but, you, you, but in a random day, like if it's raining, you, you, are you safe? But, but I don't know the L.A. weather system. <laughs> That's true. That's but true. when you when you announced the breakup, what did I say? I called you. Did you? Yes. I don't we think you did. We spoke on the phone. We did. Yes. Bobby. Bobby. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Bobby. Yes, wait, wait. we spoke on the phone. Let me just look. I want to look at our text exchanges. No, all right? phone. On yeah. the phone. Uh, all right. I called you, and I said, how well, are you uh, doing? No, I, want, I, I think okay. I do. I can prove it with Chris. Uh, uh, just. There you Stephana. go. Stefano. Okay. okay. So um, let me just read some of this. Okay. We also never introed Chris. We will, in we will in a second. We will in a second. What it is, Chrissy D, baby, Evan Williams' favorite comic. No, no, you know what? We, you and I have a really good text exchange, actually. Yeah, go ahead, read it. I out. can't read the stuff. You can't. I mean, I, 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 out of, I don't know why. Just out of nowhere, you sent me this. <laughs> oh, that's Joey Camasta. Oh, it is. Yeah. But why would you send me that? Just I wanted you to know what was up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could send that if you could post that. If you want to send that, put that on the pod. You can. Yeah. And then you love that. Then you sent me this. Yep. That that was Aww. me laying down. Um, wow. Yeah. I believe I had a fever that night. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. I haven't sent you any photos. No, I send you photos. I yeah. So that's me. That's it's, you. Yeah, it's me. Because and I'm the bad guy. Because remember what I said to you. You know, a few days ago I said, "How are you?" Coping, I said I would assume that these things personally have been going on for a long time. But That's now, right. but now publicly, since you've made a statement, it's going to get difficult. And I want you to know, let you know I'm here. And you said, I don't want to talk about I want to talk about that. And you said, Ev, do you know Evan Williams? So you very quickly brush it off. Well, that's a, because I because I, the reason why is because I called you not because of my personal life, yeah. but because I wanted you to see what you thought of this guy. Yeah, but guy. while he has you on the phone, he wants to know what how your heart is. When I'm calling for one thing, I need to get that over with. Okay. Yeah. All right? And how about this? In an effort to you, when because you had called, I, we were playing phone tag, but when you called me back, I went because I, I knew how important it was that you, I thought maybe you were calling about this that maybe you just need someone to talk to. I was trying showing my daughter how to ride a bike. We had just taken the training wheels off, and I let go of the of the seat handle to pick up a call, and she fell. <laughs> wow. Is that a real true story? Real true story. She was fine. She fell into Patrick Grass. But she's like, "Why'd you let me go?" I was like, "Bobby's on the phone." Uh, oh, <laughs> well, okay. Well, then, but she's fine. But she got up off that bike. Yeah, and guess what? She well, put herself back on that bike and and continued to ride. Let's go. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know what I don't like when you just brought that up. You know what I don't like? What? When comics kids don't know who their friends are. Oh yeah, you were upset that Burke Kreischer's daughter. Burke Kreischer's doesn't daughter doesn't know who I am. Well, you're not even going to the July Fourth barbecues. I mean, how? Oh, that's true. That's you what know? I'm saying. That's why I wanted to go. Anyway, you know what I mean. But your kid knows. Because if I had a kid, they would know your name, even though you have a fucked up last yeah. name. It's hard to say. My kid knows who you are. She thinks you're Mulan. <laughs> 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 The whole cast or just her? <laughs> the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if she saw me, she's like, there's Mulan. Mulan. Yeah, live action? She, Pocahontas. Po yeah. Oh, po God. Yeah. Oh, so everything. Yeah. Uh, Momoa. What's that? What? No, Moana. 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 Yeah. What What's this right here? Uh, 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 Toy Story. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buzz Lightyear. What are you then? Uh, me? Uh, yeah. Well, she, oh, she, she said she said that I, re, I remind her of 
in Pocahontas, John Smith. She's like, oh, you look like John Smith. Uh, you are yeah. a John like, why Smith. Why John yeah. Smith? Mm-hmm. And she thinks her mother's more Pocahontas. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp. Mm. From a word of our sponsor. BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, <laughs> phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to be real. If you're not doing it, I don't know what you're doing because it's like BetterHelp is the key to my life. Mm. It makes me, you know, free and light. And I'm, I don't, I'm not. I don't have a lot of baggage I'm carrying around because of BetterHelp. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You just said that already? No. Okay. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You never said that. And they also have this really cool journal feature, so you don't have to wait a whole week to put mm-hmm. your feelings down on paper. Um, you guys, therapy is essential. Times are hard. Mm-hmm. Go get your um, heart and your soul. How do you say it, George? Watered? Water watered. down. Watered down. Not, yeah. Not watered down. Just watered. Watered. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash belly. That's what it is. Say it one more time, Neil, just in case. That's BetterHelp.com slash belly. Roman. Yeah, I want to say something about Roman. (laughs) Go ahead. So Bobby um, didn't like having sex with me for a long time. (laughs) But with Roman, that's it's not true. Let's not say that. Come uh, on, babe. Uh, <laughs> it's open like that. Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm just sorry. I meant to say like it helped I had us ED. back then. Yeah. No, no, no. I, no. I erectile dysfunction, man. And we, I used Roman and I got ready. And it helped me get ready. It helped me last. It could have been anybody. <laughs> yeah. Whether you've been in a relationship for years or just getting started, having the confidence that comes from preparation means you're free to enjoy the moment when the moment comes. Right, babe? That's why I used it. Well, I will say that I definitely was your pusher. I was like, you want some Roman? You want yeah, yeah, some yeah. Roman? <laughs> it was like, you know. Um, go to GetRoman.com slash Belly now to speak to a U.S. licensed healthcare professional about erectile dysfunction and get $15 off your first month of treatment. ED is more common than most people think. In fact, 52% of men between the ages of 40 and 70 will experience some form of ED. Roman Ready is confidence personified. It is a self-assurance that comes from knowing you've prepared yourself for the moment when intimacy arrives. Go to GetRoman.com slash Belly today, and if you're prescribed, get $15 off your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this summer. Roman Ready. Ready. You know what I also like about you is, is that w- if I didn't know who you are and I just looked at a photo of you, yeah. it, would, it's, it would just be – I would have an already like, a storyline and this is the kind of guy this guy is. There is no way that I would think that this is the kind of personality and the way you talk and your yeah. point of view. That There's no way I would be able to base that on a, on a photo. How about me? If you saw a photo of me and you didn't know who the fuck I was, what would you th- gather? If, um, but let me show you the photo though. Okay. If I didn't know anything about you, if I didn't know anything about you, I would say this guy right here uh, is going through some type of identity crisis. I would say. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Works at Citibank. <laughs> <laughs> really? That face? With the beanie and no, everything? No, 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 not the beanie. If you took the beanie off. Oh, oh, how, how, how about this? How okay, about just look at the face. How about, how about the, okay. Oh, okay. This okay. There it is. It. Okay. There it is. I'm going to do a different face, though. Yep. All right? Okay. So just like this right oh, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so that's Margaret Cho. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right. Okay. That's Margaret Cho? That's Margaret Cho. Uh, uh, who's, I'm How a big this? fan. Uh, okay, that right there. Yeah. This is, I would say, that's this is a guy. He's was one of those Asian guys that um, actually, he did storm the Capitol. This is the type of <laughs> <laughs> There was you one know, Asian guy. Probably. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like an Asian guy who, like, yeah, yeah. you have like a New York accent, and yeah, right. You're one of those guys where you you're not you're very very conservative. Wow. Yeah, but with the beanie on, with yeah. the beanie on, no. Yeah. With no. The, this guy, actually, this fully right here, you you look like a, like like you look like a trans woman from Portland. That's what you look <laughs> like right here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fully trans. Yeah. Trans people are. I love them. Oh, I love him. I got him in my family. Yeah, you do. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I love him. He's so funny. TT Jerry. Yeah, TT. Yeah. TT Jerry, and she's great, and she's smart. TT Jerry. See, see, it's it's very beneficial to have someone in your life who you know went through prison and then rehabilitated themselves and has a criminal mindset, but is not a criminal. What happened was, is last week 
I wasn't home. Last week, I had to fix my air conditioners. I got central AC in my house, and the big units are in the attic. And one of the guys, one of the Mex- I think he was Mexican or Guatemalan, was working up there, fell through the ceiling. Oh, Fully shit. Fully fell through the ceiling. Like, what kind of... Who steps through beams in an unfinished attic and falls through the ceiling? Jeez. It's like, you should know that, but whatever. Guy falls through the ceiling. That could turn out to be a big problem for me. Falls, whatever. He's all of a sudden, he's on the floor. The foreman, who speaks English, who doesn't do the work, calls me. He goes, one of my guys just fell through your ceiling. His <laughs> neck hurts. Oh. Oh. Do that. So I call. I wasn't home. I call the house. T.T. Jerry picks up the phone. I'm like, T.T., you know, this worker's up there. He's like, oh, my God, we heard a loud bang. What happened up there? I was like, <laughs> one of the workers fell through the ceiling. She was like, what an asshole. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, he's saying his neck hurts now. Can you get him a, a, a ice or something like that? And she goes, no, Poppy, they're going to try to sue you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, is that what it is? She was like, of course. She was like, she was like let me go handle this. And then she I went. I, I, I got a call back from the foreman. Everything's fine. If they're going to paint the ceiling, sand the ceiling, and, you know, it'll just be the price of the job. I found out like an hour later, T.T. Jerry went up there and was like, you know, in Spanish to him, like, oh, your neck hurts. And he's like, see, si, see, si, my, my neck hurts. I don't think I the job. And he was like, oh, he's like, okay. He goes, where, can I see your papers? Ooh. Let me see your papers. Mm. That, let me see them. Safety. That you have papers, right? You're from this country? And he was like, I have no papers. And he was, and then J- Jerry pointed to the attic. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. yeah, and then he finished. That's yeah. Cool. He, I, I want him. Jerry Did got you out. think TT would do our show? I think if TT, we've never brought TT to California. Why we not? Florida. No, we're gonna bring her. We're okay. gonna bring her because now she is fully off parole. So she will come. Now she's as free as any of us. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. We would yeah. love to have TT I'd here. Love great. TT. She's my daughter. My baby daughter's godmother. I'm TT's biggest fan. I. Think. She's the best. I'm obsessed with TT. Any clip I see with TT. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Her and my father have been bonding over Tucker Carlson. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. TT likes Tucker? No. So what happened was, is, is my dad watches Fox <laughs> News, big Fox News guy, whatever. He's 75-year-old white guy. Yeah. That's what you want him to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so <laughs> you, they were had on Fox News the other night, and TT yeah. T. Jerry, transgender, Puerto Rican ex inmate and my Italian father up from Florida, Tampa Tony, up from Florida, New York, more conservative, have become best friends. You would never think that they, 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 they're they like the new odd couple. Best friends. They do everything together. They drop my kids off at school when I can't be there. The teacher of the uh, the principal of the camp must think that they're just like a gay couple. <laughs> they, they might, they're like sex trafficking children. They have no fucking <laughs> idea what's going on. They're like yeah. this gay transgender guy and this, you know, my dad who looks like retarded. And, <laughs> and so his eye, he's got a lazy eye. He's got a, a bionic fucking leg. You know, like so he looks like special needs guy. Yeah. And so, but he's like a Guido, whatever. And yeah. He loves Fox News. Yeah. Uh, T loves Fox News, Tampa Tony. <laughs> but Jerry doesn't want. Jerry doesn't watch the news. She says she gets. She finds out her news from like the talk, Wendy Williams show. That's that's how she catches up on stuff. Yeah. She loves that. Yeah. So so they were watching Fox News the other day, and she had never seen Tucker Carlson. Wow. And she said to my father, she goes, "You know, for a white guy, I think Tucker Carlson probably got a big dick." And <laughs> and my father was like, "You know, I never thought about that." <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never thought about that either, yeah, either. Wasn't, until now. <laughs> he didn't like dismiss him. He was like, I never thought about that. And I yeah. think that made Titi feel safe. And then they started talking about, she started talking about how fucking handsome he is. And if, if he was ever in prison, that would be the kind of guy she hooks up with. Wow, 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 wow. And they will lo- and now they watch they watch Tucker Carlson every night together. TT Jerry jerks off to his look, <laughs> and my father jerks off to his politics. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something for everyone in that show. That's what it is. But yeah, 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 you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the news long enough, though. Whatever, CNN, Fox News, whatever it is, you watch it long enough, they brainwash you to think that these people would never get right. along in our America. Yeah. And our America is, the truth is that a transgender person and a conservative Italian guy are best friends. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's I've true. never th- thought of it that way. That's true. Maybe if I, if I watched his show, I don't watch it enough. But maybe I could find something that will get me to be hooked on it. Just think Tucker? about his big white dick. Yeah, but the dick's not a thing for me. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not gay. I will say, though, I did a show on Fox <laughs> News a couple of weeks ago, Brian Kilmeade's show. Yeah. I appear on, they, um, Fox does have uh, many Asian people that work there. Oh, yeah. What does that have anything to do with Same. anything? <laughs> well, you know. Behind the scenes, you mean? Yeah, they were, they were there. Yeah, they're just hard workers. They're good in tech. <laughs> they're good with tech. I, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they, they believe in the politics. You think they believe in the politics? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't what, talk what? to them. Uh, real, honestly. I think... And you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. I think most, at least Chinese in New York, that's all I could speak, that's all I'm an expert on. Okay. Chinese, New, York, New York Chinese. Yeah. I'm around them all the time. 
they're conservative. You're not wrong. They are conservative, Absolutely and they lo- they would vote for Donald Trump, and they will they will vote for whatever Republican candidate gets in, whether it be DeSantis or whomever. That's who they will vote for. Not also, you're not not just Chinese, Indians. older Koreans. Yep. Uh, Filipinos. A lot of Indians. They're conservative. Um, Vietnamese. Conservative. Conservative. But what I love about them is they keep it to themselves. Exactly. Oh yeah. And that's why they're off the. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're smart. The, they're what did we smart. say in the beginning of the show? Sneaky. Right. So they wouldn't go to the. <laughs> They wouldn't go and to the, the fucking January the 6th. They wouldn't have fucked. I didn't see, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't see one Asian dude. Where? Did you? January 6th, the, the, during the insurrection. No. I, no. No. I didn't see one. Yeah. I, I did not. I didn't see any black guy either. Were you looking was, out like for Asians? That's all I look out. When, when there's anything, even a marathon, I go, <laughs> first, the first thing I say is, is there an Asian guy? Almost never. That's that's a good point. What, what sport do Asians? Oh, gymnastics. Yeah. Okay. They do good at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I say? Pong, you know what? Pong. You know what? If cigarette smoking was a sport, Asians would. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody smokes more Asians than cigarettes. But <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm more Asians. I know. I know. You, and also, we would, we, we would win in <laughs> we would win in style. You would win in style. Right, right. <laughs> if it was just based on just smoking, yeah, maybe we wouldn't. But in terms of style, <laughs> yeah, we would win. The art of smoking a cigarette, yeah. <laughs> With your asshole hovering a centimeter off the floor, <laughs> yeah. affected by Asians. That's us, right. Drew. I saw a <laughs> Korean dude smoke it between these two fingers. <laughs> yes. With his right? ass off the floor like a hoverboard. Yeah, a hoverboard. And he, <laughs> he was doing this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he was some sort of wind protection. I don't think there's ever been an Asian <laughs> yeah, yeah, in history yeah. that had to get his knees or hips replaced. Right. Because they got the flexibility from uh, that's how they smoke yeah. cigarettes. Down like if that. smoking cigarettes was an Olympic sport, right? We would win during the creative parts of yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I would say uh, it would be, be between Asians and Puerto Rican women. Those two, right? Smoking Newports, yeah. But in, Newport. imagine synchronized that we could have different ones. Synchronized Asian smoking cigarettes. Oh my God, be mm-hmm. perfect. Oh, be, they would just <laughs> right, and it would yes. just switch hands. Yeah. Sometimes it would disappear. Yes. Right, and they would turn around and be in their mouth. Well, that's like rhythmic yeah. gymnastics. Though. Oh, we would kill it. Russians would do, but well, they don't. Uh, Russia's Chinese. I think China's. Russia and China are probably neck and neck <laughs> on who's the best uh, gymna- gymnast. True. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Because, yeah. but in China, they say that if you want, like, the real sports stuff about China, that they, you know, they make those kids, like, they fucking lock them inside the gym. Yeah. It's, like, pretty bad. Yeah. But the they Chinese, win. But they the win. The Chinese win. enters a precision. Remember that fucking the Olympics, that fucking 12 year old or a 16 year old Chinese girl dr- diver? She got tens on everything. Oh my god! Oh my, that girl was a fucking she machine. Was. She was a machine. Machine. And then you guys did a thing on the Splash Brothers, the Filipino divers. Uh, the Filipino diving team is the funniest video you've ever seen <laughs> in your life. Here's another, like, here's another travesty that happened to the Filipino divers. Thank God we have, um, um, what's his name, Manny Pacquiao, and we have the best um, billiards guy in the world, yeah. like on okay. that. That's good. That's good. Thank God for that because there is another scandal that most people don't know about is that we sent out a little a little league team for the world, like little league, little world. league world series. Yeah, and um, we tried to pass twenty one year olds off as like twelve year old boys. We that's, cheated. Uh, that's crafty. Though. That's funny. We cheated. That's funny, we but got crafty. caught. You got caught. Yeah. Well, maybe shave their mustaches. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I think that's where they were wrong. Filipino. Can, I, let me, can you get the photo? I want to see the photo of that fucking Filipino. Yeah, yeah, find, find that fucking the Filipino. Down. I've said this before. I think on your podcast or, 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 or Trash Tuesday or Tiger Belly or one of one of the pods, I said it on that. You know, I used to be a physical therapist, and the Filipino physical therapist. If you're going to get a massage, therapeutic massage from anybody in the world, of course everyone knows it's Asian, but even more than that, you want to mm-hmm. go sub Filipino. The the, the best. Massages because Filipino, I think, out of the Asian community, have the smallest hands, and they can get their hands. <laughs> oh, no, it's true. Uh, that's, is that a fact? No, it's true. I they can the get their hands. hands. All right, in all right, all right. So, how old are they supposed to be? Twelve. Twelve. Zoom in. This is the only picture. The guy is to that the far. The, only picture? the guy to the far left is not twelve. Yeah. These guys look like they, that. Look like your uncle, the one that went to they prison. You pass for young not, guys. Not though. twelve though. That's like that guy to the cool. left. That guy number eleven looks like Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> like that might just be him in a Little League World Series <laughs> uniform. Yeah, like, Gil, what's the scandal on this? Is that um, well, just as Philippines was banned, they won the ni- 1992 Little League World Series. Everyone they was, did win it, and won. then they got caught. Yeah, and everyone was older. They were older than 12. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, there was. I'm pretty sure there was like an 18 year old. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. But you know what? Yeah. They were good. They were good. They were good. Yeah. I wouldn't take the champ. I wouldn't take it away. I would blame more the committee. How stupid, you know? Exactly. Check these kids' balls. Yeah. <laughs> Check their balls, right. Check Seriously. Balls. Yeah. Or if there's hair. When did, you, like, tw- when did you get hair on your dick? I got, okay, so I remember the very first time I masturbated and felt a sensation and a little goo came out. 
I was 11 because I ran to my aunt Colleen who used to watch me until my aunt came home and I said, oh my God, oh my God, Did something come out of my penis. Yeah, she yeah. was like, oh my God. Yeah. And that was a big problem because I didn't know. But So that was first. But I remember my first pube ever. I was 13 years old. Wow. I was 13 years old. You didn't get a pube grade. until no, 13? late bloomer. 13 years old. So I didn't want to wash it. A pube? My first pube was at 16. And when I saw it, I plucked it and I saved it. And then my mom cleaned the room and she vacuumed it. You guys weren't eating enough. <laughs> I swear to God, she vacuumed my one pube <laughs> that I had saved. I saved it for six months. I thought it was a miracle. Why did it right? come I go, It was like a baby. I go, this is, this is, a, this is like a... A turning point. Turning point. We, you guys didn't eat enough chicken hormones, I think. Like, we butted really young. I, when did young. you get your first hair? I think, like, nine or ten. That's when you got your period, too? No, nine no, no. Turn? I got it at 13, but I, the pubes were, you know, the little the fuzz was coming in. Well, I had fuzz. That's, that's yeah, Fuzz is not a hair. Real nice I mean, a real black hair, like a hair. I still have pubes, by the way. I don't shave them. I don't have pubes. I have a full bush. Oh, gosh. Damn. I wish I could get Jazz's permission to show you how little hair I actually grow in my pussy. I've seen it. It's, I don't know what's wrong with me. There I love is it. No you fucking have her permission. Hair. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You have a big bush? Right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, you caught up. You yeah. eventually got like yeah. the full. Yeah, well, be, and, and I think that's why I don't shave my pubes because it took me so long to grow them that I have them. Uh, that's kind of that's what the, it is. You're a thinker. What it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it. And, uh, and, 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 you know, they're there. Uh, but the thing is, I, up above, like the pubic bone is nice, but then on my balls, it's just it's strands of hair. That come mm. out. Can I say, I, I, and, and this is a, something that I've said on stage before, but I, I, this is a real thing. I've never seen my own butthole. You want me to take a picture? Here, I'll take a picture. No, no, I don't, not right now, not right now. I don't want to okay. do it right now, live. You know what I mean? <laughs> but have you ever seen your own butthole? Yes. Um, yeah. Have I ever seen my own butthole? No, actually. Yeah, I've never seen it. Wow. Well, I'll never well, see it with my own it? eyes. Possible to see. Oh, You'll you never see your butthole yourself. with your own oh. eyes. You guys don't wax yourselves. I have to wax myself and have my asshole face the mirror. Oh, you do self-waxing on your asshole? Uh, during the pandemic, yeah. Wait, wait. So how do you... Let me ask you something. Yeah. When you're waxing your own butthole, yeah, it's, it's, how do you do it? I have to put my knees behind my... It's a whole thing. Right, so you GD do it, but can you, you... But you look at a mirror and do it, but you don't do it with your own eyes. I do. I look at both and down. Like, oh, so you've seen with your own eyes your own butthole. Of course. I've also <laughs> taken lots of pictures of my own asshole. Yeah. If I, was, if I was the Fantastic Four guy, I would be able to do it. You'd be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll go. Yeah, I, my, I look like. Who's <laughs> yeah. the other one? Who's the other one? Um, who's the rock guy? What's that guy called? Him? The thing. The thing. That's yeah. what my cock looks like because I have HPV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You yeah. have one of everything. I got a skin tag removed from my ass cheek the other day. Yeah. Which was crazy. I had the skin tag on my ass cheek for like ten years. How big? It was, uh, oh, I don't have a picture Wait, of it. did you do it with a string or did you go to the doctor? No, no, doctor? no, I went to a dermatologist. And oh, look, just, look at my neck. I got like 50 skin tags off. Do you get them removed? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I got them all removed. But have one on your ass cheek is interesting. And then I had one right, like right this close to my asshole. And he was like, this one's in such a tricky spot because if I remove that, you know, it can get infection. And it's not whatever. a hemorrhoid? No, it's not a hemorrhoid. It's outside my ass. But I just left it there. My dad, my dad had one. My dad had one. Not on his, um, not in his asshole, but in between his sack and the thigh, there was right. one skin tag. And I used to go to the spa with him. Yeah. And every once in a while I would see it. You have to go? Okay. Soon, yes. You have a heart out, right? I do, yeah. What yeah. time? I think it's like 5.15. What time is it now? Is it? Almost 5. It's almost 5. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> By the way, this is some positions for you guys, how to do it. Oh, to see your own butthole. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. It looks like Yeah, uh, but to see Santino. the first one, the first one is... <laughs> That's Santino. That is but the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. But you're still not seeing it with your own eyes. You're seeing it through a mirror, mirror, mirror yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would love to. See, I'll never see it with my own. I see eye. what you're saying. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that I don't think it, does the flexibility. Does the most flexible human in the world? Could they even? Could they eat their is own it asshole? Contortionist, maybe. Yeah, that's maybe true. A, yeah, circus Soleil guy. Yeah. 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 But my dad had one between his sack and his thigh, and I used to see it at a fucking spa. You seem like a guy, by the way, who I bet your asshole never stinks. It stinks. No. <laughs> No, I think it smells He's like not plastic. He's a great wiper, but I'll tell you this much about him. He has absolutely zero B.O. Even yeah. if he didn't shower for two weeks, no B.O. But I told you, I think I've said this before, maybe on this show, that Koreans in general do not have B.O. They, they cannot they get B.O. It's an actual enzyme yeah. deficiency that they have where they're incapable of smelling like B.O. That yeah, is a I've fact. I've never, I have never bought, I don't even know what the purpose of deodorant is. I've never bought it. Right. I've never. No, you can't. You I don't can't know what brands they are. I don't know what brands they are. I don't know how to use it because 
I've just never used. No, no, Korean people gen. This is, is that real? No, no, no. Google Korean it's enzyme. True, it is real. That you cannot make a body odor. And very you know what he few. doesn't have either. He doesn't have like you know a natural crotch scent. Nice. Like so, he doesn't have. It like, doesn't smell like salt and vinegar potato chips or something like that. <laughs> no, no. He just it's like, unscented. Like it would. It That's would, what I told you. I yeah, 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 yeah. You have Your a scented one. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, Germans, we typically don't have a smell either. We are the Ubermensch. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Uber. Man. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Let's do the intro now. Five, four. Welcome three. to another episode of Tiger Belly. We have a great guest. He's from New York City. I met him on Opie Anthony years ago. One of the best stand ups, one of the best podcasters, Chris DiStefano. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so any tour? You want to plug anything? Yep. Yeah. When does this one come out? Uh, You're this Next week. week? Oh, this, this week? week yeah. Whoa. The first one post breakup. Look at that. P first one post breakup. Um, <laughs> go to chrisdcomedy.com for Tiki Wikis. Burlington, Vermont, July 27th, July 28th, 29th, Montreal. And then uh, August, um, in, in uh, August, we have uh, the Brea Improv, Ooh. California. Will you come to one of the shows? I would love 17th to. to the 20th, the Brea Improv. I would love to. And then September 8th to the 10th, Cobb's Comedy Club, San Francisco. Then a biggie, Chicago. September 30th, big one, Chicago Theater. And then Philadelphia in October, we're going to add a second show to the Fillmore. Nice. Awesome. Wow. Christy, oh, and I got a special, Special Weshy on Netflix. Fuck yeah, man. It's called Special Weshy. It's on How's Netflix. it going? Good? It went, yeah, it went well. It went, it's, I mean, you know, you know how it is. It's all, all up there on the algorithm for the first couple of weeks and then, right, right. you know. Right. But they said it got, you know, a few million views, which is good. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Netflix stock tanked as soon as we announced I had a special. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> It's the way it worked out. The day they announced it was crashing is the day they also announced I had a special. <laughs> there it is right there. Weshy. Give Speshy it a thumbs Weshy. up. Anyway, uh, you want to do an unhealthful or because they have to go? Well, he can go. All right. What are we going to do? We do an end segment, but it's uh, it's five and we have another guest coming, so let's just fucking end. Can we it. do it, it quick? Great. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do, do it quick. quick. Just do a, do a bite-sized one. All right, here we go. Uh, unhelpful advice with Chris. Chrissy D. Uh, thank you for your services. So my boyfriend of four years wants me to get a corporate job. I recently graduated from college and decided to start my own web development business instead of the traditional corporate way. I'm 23 and I'm a broke ass, but I know if I keep working hard, I will thrive. I just know it. My boyfriend keeps trying to convince me that an eight to five will bring me financial freedom and less anxiety. I just don't think I'm meant to work in the corporate environment, but I am starting to question my choice. Also, I'm just super stubborn. I really want to prove his ass wrong. What should I do? Find a different boyfriend. Yep. I would say he sound, he seems annoying. He seems insecure. He seems yeah. threatened. Yeah. Find a different. I Why would, does he uh, that have that much power over your decision? Also, you're yes. 23. 23. You're supposed to be broke. Yeah. Yes. You're supposed to be confused. And how am I going to eat? Yeah. The, the pain and the hunger and all that stuff Imagine is that. what drives you. Imagine yes. being 23 and being like, nope, I think you should be working in eight. Oh, my God. No, get what out a of here. What a fucking boner You're killer. so fucking boring, too. Boring. Boner yeah. killer. Get rid of get him. Get rid of him. Yeah. And I number two, get out. a corporate job. Get the job. <laughs> yes. Get, get stability. Get health yeah, benefits. Yeah, 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 also, see if you can get some of that pain. Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crypto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that... Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right. Anyway, give him a round of applause. Oh, all right. I wish we would have done that. We should have ended before. I, <laughs> yeah. That segment, I fucking blew it. <laughs> <laughs>